to be elsewhere or whatever, make uh, changes need to be made, whatever. But it's a, I mean, you got to sit back at the end of the season and reflect on the, the whole season and my game personally and, and team game before you can't really worry about playing coach or general manager or anything like that. So it's, it's our job right now is to, to try and win hockey games and, and, uh, play to the best of our abilities, help young guys coming along, getting their first crack, and, and then at the end of the season, I'm sure there'll be more talk about what direction the team is. It's it's all speculation right now. We're used to asking those questions here about the job mm-hmm. yeah. from Edmonton. Every year it's the same thing, and you're up for that and stuff like that. And now you're, you're in a situation where the losses just keep coming. Yeah. Is it... You never feel for the other teams what they're going through, but now you're going through it just like Edmonton say was. Yeah, yeah, it's um, certainly it, it, no one's doing us any favors either. I mean, we've just played Calgary and Vancouver. They're both fighting for playoff lives. It's not like anyone's feeling sorry for us. They're out playing as hard as they can. Um, today, obviously, Edmonton's not a, not a playoff team. We're not going to be a playoff team. So um, these games sometimes can be. A little bit, a little bit tougher to to get up for sometimes at, at this area of the season. Um, although lots of us have some friends and family here tonight, it should be should be a nice atmosphere. There's always a ton of Leaf fans here, so so that's cool. But um, again, it's it's it tests your your preparation, your your mental uh, your mental game some of the nights. Toronto's a town where things are going well at the beginning of the year. You guys were loved. Everyone loved you. Everything was great. And then things are struggling. It's the complete opposite. Like, what's that like? There's no, there seems to be no middle ground there. Just, it's either they love you or they hate you. Yeah. It's, it, you're right about that. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not the ideal time to be living in Toronto and playing for the Maple Leafs right now. <laughs> It's not uh, not as much fun as it, it was at one point, but again, that comes with it. We're not. I mean, it's just a tough situation for everyone: players, fans, coaches. Um, again, we, we, we'd love to get something going here at the end of the year, win a couple games, and give the fans something to, to cheer about. I'd say most of them still love it. It's almost. Uh, an illness, wouldn't you agree? I mean, maybe you get some not love, but mostly you guys still get a lot of love. 100, percent that's true. Um, the guys, I said it to someone before. It's like they often talk about the negativity of, of playing in Toronto, but for every one person that's negative, there's nine other that are completely positive, and it's a it's a great fan base. So um, we're certainly lucky to play there, and and obviously it's more fun to be there when you're having success, but. Like I said, it's still nine out of ten people love the team and su- will support them till the uh, till the day they die. I'm sure. You come into town, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 16 or 17 games um, scoring some. I think it might be. Yeah. Um, and yet you're getting lots of pretty decent um, playoff um, um, power play time, etc. I know you did snake bit on mm-hmm. some of those shifts, but put any perspective on it. Uh, well, obviously, I would like to be. Doing a little bit more offensively, def- all the way around. I think there's a lot of areas in my game that could be better. A lot of guys in here would probably tell you the same thing. So um, I'm still working, still working on improving certain things and, and getting better and hopefully have a good finish to the year.